Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Now, you can curb your enthusiasm a little bit because maybe this will be less good than usual Kirby. It's not. It's going to be great. Official artwork. That's right. Uh, Natsuro B Bonduro actually made this himself. And uh, yeah, it's very exciting art. Official. Oh, fuck. Illusion ruined. Wow, the game is still there on the screen even during the update. I, I never would have thought. I'm sorry, listen. I can't play this game on anything other than Babby mode. If this was a Squeenix game, there would be vocals about Kirby riding through the solar system. And it would play through the menu on repeat. Why did they have to go so hard on these cutscenes, though? Look how good the quality of these cutscenes are for Kirby. I mean, we have an emote of that in chat right now because of that cutscene. Bandana D gets sucked in, too. So I already played the demo for this, and I loved it. And we've already seen this, if, but if you haven't... It's just a, a good Kirby game done right in the third dimension. What time is it in New York? It's, uh, 14.50. I watched the Digital Foundry version, uh, video on this game, when they talk about the game's visuals and stuff. And, um, they had a lot of positive things to say about the tech of this game. The only real... I mean, there's, there's two main issues that I've seen visually. Because this game, to me, is gorgeous for a Switch game, and even outside of the fact that it's a Switch game, it's really nice looking. It's got a nice little style. And it, it weirdly marries the, the Kirby world with the real world somehow. But there's two things. One is distant enemies go low FPS, much like Arceus. And uh, the frame rate is locked to 30. Which is... I'll take a locked 30 frame rate. But of course, you know, at this point in time, how nice would it be to have that Switch too? I do like the theme of this game, too. It's got a nice, nice music. It's got a nice music so far. It's amazing how natural this game feels to jump into if you're a Kirby fan, as opposed to, like, having to learn what the series would be like in 3D. It's so intuitively natural for, for this Kirby series to just jump in and play. You instinctually kind of already know what to do, and it just works really well. But I love how they just leaned into the, like, the full concept of post-apocalyptic wherever this is. Nintendo does this a lot, but I think it works here better than it ever has. Even better than Pikmin, in my opinion. I guess it is Earth. Welcome to Earth. Uh, question, chat, is the volume okay? Someone in chat said, yikes, this ain't looking good. I, I disagree. I think you're expecting too much from the Switch. It's a little loud. I think chat member must understand that we're playing a Kirby game on the Switch. Kirby is here. Someone said, I dislike Kirby. Sorry, I dislike Carby. I enjoy Carby. The duality of chat is in full effect. We've just started, and Carby's already committing war crimes. Oh, there's vocals. Did I know that this was going to happen? Was this in the demo? I'm sorry to make you my collective memory, but I just don't. It wasn't in the demo. Okay. Duck!
ダクス<笑> The song <laughs> while Kirby is is、uh, commandeering a car with his skin. I like the sound, the guitar sounds great. I have a weird aversion to vocals in video game songs. Not always. But sometimes it just feels weirdly out of place. I don't know why. I think it's because I grew up with the、um, NES and、S、Super Nintendo. And, like, I, it was weird for me to hear vocals in Metal Gear Solid. And it was weird for me to hear vocals.、Um, what was the other one? So it was Metal Gear Solid and Symphony of the Night. But I feel like they were,、um, it was good because it's the ending. I don't mind vocals if they're good. Like, I'll give you an example Final Fantasy VIII Eyes on Me. I like that version with the vocals. But then when I go into Chocobo GP and there's vocals in the menu music, that is like too much. My fight or flight is activated. Colors weave. I guess I don't mind. Oh no. Ear thing. Last time I played this、uh, in the demo, I said there's a new Pokemon that just dropped. Ear Squirrel. How could they not dance? You saved me, thank you. But what about those other guys, the Waddle Dees? They were all captured and taken away. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for more. Now I'm the only one left. I have to go save them, I have to. No, not Waddle Dees nuts. What? You'll help me save everyone, that's great. So, your name is Kirby? I'm Elphalin. Nice to meet you. Did I make a joke about how the name of that creature sounded like some kind of drug that has about 10,000 side effects? Hey, Kirby. Boy, am I glad to see you. I got pulled through that vortex over Planet Popstar, too. If you ever want a second player to join you, just let me know. I'll always be ready. Can I just play as Bandana D instead of Kirby? <laughs> Not instead of, but like, as well as. Yeah, I think this game looks nice. Oh, you can search? Oh. Okay. Well, it's a traditional world map, but also you have a little bit of freedom to roam around. It's very Mario 3D world. That weird vortex pulled me into the sky. I had no idea what was happening. I still don't. At least I found the other Waddle Dees. It looks like they arrived in this new world just before me. I was searching high and low for our friends, and then I saw an odd pink car dash by. Guessing that was you, huh, Kirby? That looks like quite a mouthful. Everything okay in there? Don't bite off more than you can chew. Did Bandana D, D just ask if Kirby's, like, insides were okay? Okay, Kirby was a car. That's fine. Okay, Nintendo, you're forgiven for all of your video game crimes over the past couple years. You made a cute new Kirby game. <laughs> I forgot all about them! Oh, wait, no, I just remembered. Oh, fuck, never mind. Man, the redemption arc of Nintendo really came quick. All they needed was a cute new Kirby game.
This teaches the player about buttons. This teaches the player about secret areas. Each of these cans has their own physics. And wherever they land, you can just pick up the soda again. Why is Vending Machine Kirby so fucking overpowered? I want to take that vending machine to the final boss. I'm ready to play this game like I've been playing Elden Ring. Look, iframe dash. Or, uh, dodge. There's no health meter? No, there is. You just have to take damage. I think they went for the minimalist approach, where only when you need to see the thing does it show up. Otherwise, you can just enjoy the world. The problem is... Look at the frame rates on those cannonballs. That's how they... That's how they get you. Yeah, they promise you 1080p, and then you look in the distance and suddenly... Then you suddenly get 3 FPS on cannonballs. Game is shit. Zero out of ten. Can't play it. Can't lose a merge. Merge. But my merge has been... To, my Merkin has been destroyed. Me? I only play Kirby for graphics. I'm weird though. I can be a bit of a graphics snob, and then sometimes I just don't care. It depends on the game. As long as the art style and the frame rates are consistent, I'm usually good. But, uh, if I paid for a nice PC, and I play a nice PC game, and it runs like shit, I start, like, breaking out in a cold sweat. I don't... I can't help it. Do you think Kirby drank the blood of some people? Okay, Kirby, listen. I'm gonna sell you this product. You know that when you eat lots of different things, you get indigestion. That's why I'm going to sell you Traffic Cone. That's right, Traffic Cone is the best. It'll open you nice and wide at the bottom, so whenever there's a little indigestion, you will have no problem expelling the goods. Trust me on this, Kirby, you're gonna want Traffic Cone. But I also have another product for you. Oven Window! What is it? Why do you need it? Oven Window! Some people missed my stream last night, I guess. It, listen, it would make a whole lot more sense if you watched the tabletop sim last night. Wild Edge. Have you ever wild edged yourself? Magic users in Elden Ring. I say being a half magic user. No, listen. We have to talk about Kirby difficulty. First, I need to lower the game a little bit, because I feel myself shouting. And I don't want to. Shout. Shout. Let it all out. So Kirby games are traditionally, I think most of us would know that most Kirby games are not going to test all of your skills. And you're going to have a pretty decent time through most of it. Especially the early levels. Baby. But, as I've discovered, in most of the later Kirby games, there's a lot of stuff that reminds me of the Mario games, where you finish the game, or you get to the end, and then suddenly there's a sharp difficulty spike for a lot of the extra stuff. There was, um, I think it was Star Allies. I just gave up. So t sometimes that happens. But, yeah, no, these are not the most difficult games. These are... I, I like to... When I play Kirby games, I like to collect, fly, and chill. And I think that's okay. I don't think every game needs to have ball-blistering difficulty. I like that, too. I mean... Uh, Margit in Elden Ring took me an hour, and when I was done, I was sweaty. Literally and figuratively, and I had a great time dying over and over and over again. But there are some games I like to play that are just more relaxing. Put 
put these foolish ambitions to rest, Kirby. It... it died. It... Where'd it, where'd it go? It, it's, is it... is it dead? Bye! I, for one, am glad it's dead. Also, uh, for those wondering, the cover of this game is not, in fact, Angry Kirby. Kirby just looks inquisitive about the distance. Yeah, American Kirby has been destroyed by this game's cover. Turtle Pope destroyed. Enemy felled. I got all the secrets. I read that in the demo. This logo belonged to an auto shop named Hotline Custom Autos. Uh, sorry, Holine. Part of Holine Corps. Holine also sold industrial parts, managed construction and all kinds of stuff. From buildings to streets to amusement park rides, remember, if it's quality, it's Holine. Or perhaps it was, would be more accurate. Irby. A mystical new friend you met in a mysterious new world, you found Elflin as he was trying to save the Waddle Dees from the Beast Pack. He seems happy to be Kirby's guide, sharing helpful advice to save the Waddle Dees and rebuild their town. Thanks, Elphalin! I'm calling it now. Elphalin is the, the final boss of this game. There's 79 of these things. Damn. Look, they're already rebuilding. I like this mechanic. Saving the Waddle Dee so they can rebuild the town. Put them to work. Waddle D Cinema is now open. Rewatch some memorable scenes on the big screen. Can I watch Spider Man in there? I just knocked that Waddle D, Waddle D unconscious. Welcome to Waddle D Cinema. You can watch all kinds of movies here. If you're wondering why we built the cinema so soon, well, it's because entertainment is important, not food. Which movie would you like to watch, Kirby? I want to watch Spider-Man. 60 required for this building. 50 for that. Uh, when do you unlock the underground meth lab underneath the laundromat? 100%? Kirby, we need to cook! I I'm so happy that... Um, Better Call Saul also focuses on Gus. And, like, you get more story with Mike and Gus. I, that is... When uh, Giancarlo Esposito became, like, a major um, character in that show, I was like, right. I want to see more of this dude. Airman Trout. It means strong world, Michael. Is that what he said it meant? Strong world or something? What'd you think about El Camino? It was... I already kind of discussed it, but it was... it was okay. I thought it was okay. There is no spring ability. Yeah, I, I thought it was fine. It just felt a little extra fan servicey. 
and uh, it, it didn't really blow me away. It was just nice to give a little closure to one of the characters, but... Saved. What other games do you save living creatures? Wasn't um, the Sprixies? What was that, Mario 3D World? Rayman, Sonic, Paper Mario on the Switch. Oh yeah, yep. Like, living collectibles, like the, the Toad Paper. Sprixies are from 3D World, okay, yeah. I heard the uh, new Chrono Cross music. They uh, Square uploaded some of it. It's like new instrumentation and arrange not arrangements, but well, yeah, I guess so. Um, different samples for some of the Chrono Cross stuff. Done by Mitsuda himself. Uh, yeah, didn't love it. I didn't listen to all of it all the way through, but some of the samples sound a little weird. 99% of the time, new arrangements for old games suck. You know what? Trials of Mana had some good... had some good stuff. In some cases, I liked the Trials of Mana new soundtrack more than the old one. And I'm wondering if Live Alive is gonna have a similar thing. Vinny, do you think it's weird that Kirby only has 12 abilities in this game? Well, I didn't know there were only 12, but considering it's a new style of Kirby game, and you can upgrade each ability, I don't mind so much. I feel like if they do a Forgotten Land 2, then we would probably end up getting back to like 20 abilities. Ban that guy. I don't know, I feel like maybe that was a little bit of a juicy comment intended to provoke like yeah, game kind of sucks, don't you? Don't you agree? It's a little, little plumpy of a comment, even maybe. But no, I mean, there's upgrades for each one. I think two upgrades per. So it seems like there's a decent variety, accounting for that as well. I have a question for anyone who's played this. Did I miss one lantern already? Is it ahead or is it beh is it behind? I missed one at the start. <sighs> I guess we'll never get the true ending now. No. What do you mean, stairs? What do you mean, stairs? No! Look at Kirby's face! I'm okay. I was like, what do you do with these? You can't- you are the stairs, you can't climb them. Now I know. That's so good. I, how is Kirby even walking? Those feet is so small. And then you can use the stairs. Oh, I see, I see. flattening wonderfully cute animal friends. Just flattening them. Just fucking destroying them. Why do you do this, Kirby? Maybe you're not the hero. weird. Oh, because it spits. It's, it spits, everybody. I get it. Oh, don't worry, Link. I don't spit. No! Oh, why did I say that? Fuck!
Anyway, as I was saying, it's cool that you get to use the stairs in this nice Kirby game. Yep, just missing one challenge. That's magnificent. I've received another email about Raid Shadow Legends. It keeps happening. The Lightron Works Company was a massive corporation that invested in research and development within all kinds of fields, electro, bio, astro, and more. Lightron eventually split up, giving rise to many rival companies and countless heated corporate battles. Interesting lore we're getting here. I get emails like, Dear Jonathan, please check out this cool new mobile game we would like for you to promote. Now, you may wonder why they call me Jonathan. Because Dorb's name is that. And they think sometimes that I am, I am he. Then again, I've gotten emails that were meant for limes, and vice versa. So I mean, clearly these these companies we we ha dear limes, delicious. We love your work so much that we have done research to find out that you are in fact a streamer named Vinny. So we're going to email you and get you for this raid shadow legend. Oh, I get it. Should I just restart this? Yeah, I'm gonna restart this. It's like bomb chew bowling, but not as annoying. That's gotta be a new record. I fell short of the target time. Do you get another thing if you complete the target time? No. You get money? Mm. Yep, just get stunlocked into a wall, Kirby. Very smart. Ruined. 45 seconds is gonna be the target time. I, I fucking know it. Oh no, I got it. I got it. It's a minute. Let's see if the Waddle Dees have made any progress. Still only a movie theater. But they're working. Time to burn the whole thing down and then smile. Wow, that Waddle D is still on fire. Oh, look at that.
vending machine shoot. What do you mean vending machine Kirby can't fly? That's good. Okay. Someone said, here's hoping there's Walmart DLC. The ruins of an abandoned Walmart. I just want a Kirby YouTube channel where he goes to abandoned malls and buildings, films, and eats all the objects. Sick. Yes. Right, here we go. New level. More new levels. Post-demo levels. We're in a post-demo world and have been for some time now. They have Kirby burning grass physics. It's amazing. Whoa, gun? Gun Kirby! Mental. Or... Katamari Kerbisi. I- no, I said- no, 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 I didn't say Kerbisi, I said, like, Damacy, but the word Kirby. No, 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 no. You're- you're mistaken, chat. No, that's on the hit the fifth floor, the hidden fifth floor. Next Smash Brothers game, whenever that is. Please give Kirby a gun. It's very in character for Kirby to shoot stars while the enemy shoots bullet. Huh. Game is good. Yeah, I don't know. Just doing a little target practice. I guess Kirby considers milk a snack. Sonic moment. No. No. I thought that would still be there. They're very generous with the falling in pit. Oh, you lose money? I guess that makes more sense than having a life system. Waddle D and Glizzy. Can't believe I'm calling these fucking things Glizzies now. God damn it. God damn it. 
Oh, Carby wasn't just a one-time thing. <laughs> oh, no! Slow the fuck down, man. The game will actually slow you down for yourself. If you fall off a cliff several times in a row, it will actually, like, stop you for a second. So you have to, like, take a minute to think about what you've done to poor Kirby. Last steel windows, I guess. Transparent aluminum! I'm still missing one secret. Vinny, you failed it. Not falling off the ledge was the secret. May I interest you in a cloud poster? Drive without falling off the ledge, right? Copy that. Big Kabu. Lantern switch. Liminal space mall time. No, not yet, not yet. We have fire treasure. Please save that poor Waddle D. No, that I'm sorry to say, but long after this game is complete, that Waddle D will linger forever in this abandoned wasteland of death and sadness. Starving to death in a cage. Now that'll make you like really want to save Waddle D's. If they gave you that part of the story, like what happens to them if you don't save them, just don't think about it. That's all. Don't think about what happens to poor Waddle D. Stuck in a cage, like a rat in a cage, despite all his rage. Kirby, it's me, Waddle D. I'm stuck in a small box. Now you'll hear it. It's just a little spicy, that's all. It's a spicy chord. You'll, you'll hear it in a second. Wow, good, good. Why isn't there gyro aiming? Fuck. Definitely not getting the bonus money on this one. Call Beato what made that chord great. Hello, yes, Beato. It is it is I. Viato. What makes this chord great? Beato speaking to Bignato. Listen for it. That. It's not the wrong chord. It's not like it's just a little jazz. It goes up. It like kinda like glissandos into the proper note. Just a spicy note. I appreciate a little spicy note. I don't even know if glissando is the right term for that. But I appreciate a spicy note where everything's just so perfect and you can just program it to be totally perfect. And like if you're gonna add a little jazz to it, I'm 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 all for that. Kirby in an abandoned mall. Is this my dream game? If you continue picking up objects, you go- you get faster. But if you don't, then you get slow and you can't continue. So it's like a little mini Katamari moment. Yeah, to me, this game is like the best parts of Kirby 64. Not with the item combining. That would be awesome if this game had item combining like that game. They should bring that back. Eat four donuts is a challenge. The abandoned earth 
post-apocalyptic areas, the factory, etc., etc. I like that stuff. This game is just all that. <laughs> I love this remix. This is so good. So, my first Kirby game was the first one on Game Boy when he was a little white ghost. And uh, I love that game, but I didn't know for years that Kirby was evolving into a character that could, like, suck enemy abilities. Oh. What is that? So, years later, I rented Kirby's Adventure on the NES, and I was like, wait, why can Kirby use the sword? Why doesn't my Kirby game do this? So, it wasn't until Kirby Superstar that I really... And I didn't even own Kirby Superstar, I rented it a lot. But it wasn't until then that I like, really dug into a Kirby game where you could use different abilities. <laughs> Wait, is this the secret area, or is this? Burger? Yeah, there's Burger. I guess we'll go to the, down the Burger path. I just want to see if I missed anything. Maybe there was a hidden donut. Why does Kirby need this many burgers? <laughs> this many burgers? Kirby? I guess if you want to devour galaxies, you're gonna need your protein, yeah. Don't say he thick, chat. For two reasons. Two very good reasons that I'm not going to elaborate upon. <laughs> I was like, what do I do to get those screws off? I missed a donut, didn't I? Oh, wait, not necessarily. No, 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 I am the pull-out king. I'm still missing one hidden objective. Is it too late? I would imagine chat knows. Chat, tell me or I'm gonna have Kirby shoot you. It's too late? Alright, well Kirby shoots you anyway. Navigate the mall without getting lost. <laughs> I, I get it. So, you have to not go down a wrong path. At all. You have to follow the signs. Hold down the button to aim and throw. Got it? Hold, aim, throw. Throw, hit, boom. You can run and throw them too, or roll them ahead of you to get an explosive strike. Bouncy. Well, that's a unique way to lock a boss. It's just a big fucking rock wall that you need a ton of Waddle Dees to, like, punch. <laughs> it's not like, oh, you need the power of the 15 crystals to open the way. No, it's just throw Waddle Dees at it like Pikmin. Alright, time to skate. Oh, okay. That's nice. That's fucked. I want to visit, uh, the town. We have 36. I actually don't think... ...this is enough for the, uh, town to have been built yet. I think the first milestone is 50. Kirby, you, you remind me of myself when I was younger, Choom. There's no need to finish that. I wish I didn't read that. I wish I didn't begin that line of thought. Minus any cock. 
Hey, this is still 155% less disgusting than last night's stream, and I'm not blaming anybody but myself. I could have put a stop to all of it. What kind of sick bastard wears a necklace of living things? Oh wait, real humans do that. Have you ever seen the, the necklaces with the little, like, fish in them? There's one with, like, little turtles. I'm sorry I even brought that up, Jesus. Yeah, but, uh, not to ruin the mood too much, but yeah, that's a, a thing. New, uh, discovery with this. When you're in witch time, you do more attacks. When you- when you do the slow motion dodge, and you press the button, you shoot like three at a time. It's both the flurry rush from Breath of the Wild and Bayonetta Witch Time. I love it. Slip through Goromondo's legs. Oh. There's that many hidden objectives for this? There's still a Waddle Dee right now between Goromondo's legs. Because Kirby didn't save him. Because Kirby didn't go between there. They don't call him Slip and Kirby for no reason. This place has gotten much livelier now that the townsfolk are finding their way back. The other Waddle Dees said they really appreciate your help, Kirby. I'm always ready to help, too, if you need a second player. Please, I'm bored. Kirby, I want to- I want to kill. Let me kill. I have a spear. I already like this music. I'm gonna visit the machine just to hear the music. Oh, I like those chords. What a, what a nice progression that is. I need this song for a BRB. This is gonna be like, um, you know what? For like my artistic things when I do... <laughs> when I, when I draw stuff. This works for that. Any creative exercise music, this should be added to that playlist. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through the vortex. Now he can use... Sorry, now he can stuff an entire cone into his mouth. Use your pointy head to jab below you and bust open cracks in the ground or pipes. You're out of control, Kirby! Alival Mall sign. This was the logo for the Alival Mall, owned by Alival Holding Company. Making life even livelier was their corporate slogan. They ran a wide range of businesses, entertainment, arenas, food shops, service industries. Now the remains of those businesses can be found in all kinds of places. Empty and alone. Alivent. Ouch! Ouch! Careful with those spikes! Jab enemies in place or pick them up by rolling around. Nab a whole bunch of them together, then launch them off all at once. Pow! Yeah, launching them off. That's what they call it these days. Car Mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he went through the vortex. Now he can stuff an entire car into his mouth. When he does, he turns into a peppy pink car that can jump and use Turbo Dash. It's a nice day for a scenic drive. Turn up the radio. Tort. 
Tilding. That's the best we could name this. Tortilding. Wow, Tortilding's shell is a whole building. This bag, uh, this big baddie must be some kind of boss for the smaller beasts. It enjoys basking in the sun, so it climbs to high spots and claims the whole area as its territory. It must take a long time for this critter to get up there. Melon. Only one star for Melon. Poor Melon. Tangerine as well. I need to stop doing this, but I can't. I'm getting duplicates already. Dome mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the, you know, the, uh, yeah. Now he can stuff an entire dome into his mouth. Wrap around one of these, then twist until it pops open. Think there's anything good inside? Only one way to find out. It's kind of amazing how easy it is to turn anything into an innuendo. One more, just one more. One more new one, here we go. Behold. It's Buffahorn, uh, the brutal, brutish Buffahorn. Weak attacks won't stand a chance against this critter's forward tackle. Good thing they have a hard time stopping. If you're careful, you can trick them into running off cliffs. They'll be okay down there. They're real tough. But what about when Kirby actually murders one? They're, they're probably not okay after that. Oh, look, the Waddle Dee's weapon shop is open. Looks like a quick way to grab copy abilities. I also heard... The Waddle Dee inside knows a secret to growing stronger. Let's pay him a visit. Welcome to Waddle Dee's Weapon Shop. I work with all types of copy abilities. It's kind of my thing. Any copy ability you find out there will become available in here. Pop in and grab one anytime. Oh, and guess what else? I can help you evolve those abilities to make them much stronger. This blueprint contains some incredible techniques. We can use it to evolve your abilities. Let's try evolving one right now. Already my tools. The Cutter ability can now be evolved into Chakram Cutter. Hi. Kirby, do you ever say bye or only hi? Success, all done. The Cutter ability has evolved into Chakram Cutter. If you find more blueprints, just bring them to me. I'll use them to evolve your abilities even further. Hi. Who would voice Kirby in the upcoming Mario movie? Harvey Firestein? Oh my god! Mario, you wouldn't believe it! Volcano unlocked. You can change off auto copy on enemies in the settings, huh? Is this Sackby? Oh, it's Mr. Sandbag. It's Sackboy, but Kirby. Oh man. Oh, another one? And I wanted- I honestly was hoping Mr. Sackboy was dead. Alright. Let's check out a couple of these levels. Looks nice. Maybe I need a real vacation. Because <laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm like, hmm. It's beautiful. The water is nice. Nah, I'll just keep going to Wildwood, New Jersey. Yeah, that's, that's much better than a real vacation. Kirby has grown an inner tube. Wild bonkers. Oh, 
Oh, wait, do you have an ability? I haven't seen. Oh, yeah, hammer. Why? Of course. Oh, cool. A unique and interesting new life form on this cool planet. Let's bonk it. I bet Nintendo's sound effect stock library is fucking massive. Like, I know they reuse some sounds here and there, for sure. Like, certain video games have the same, like, signature sound effects, but they still have to do new Foley each time. But, my god, could you imagine getting access to that sound library? How many unused Hayas do you think Link actually has? What if I told you a game's quality is directly proportionate to its water graphics? Skyrim? Yeah, Skyrim's water graphics kind of suck. What does that say about Skyrim? Sorry, this rule is absolute, and only a Sith deals in absolutes. You know what? I'm sure there are several games that have been praised for their water graphics that were absolute fucking clunkers. I just can't think of any at the moment. And, sadly, good games can have bad water. So, never mind. Wait, what the What the fuck?! Wow, that's, uh... Oh, oh, you can kill them with the boat! That is very, very cool. Oh no, that was the end of the level?! Oh no, I just got to the point! Ah! I didn't crack the nuts open. I'm gonna have to do that level again. Not now, but at some point. Bolted storage mouth Kirby. Kirby gain- uh, right. This one won't budge. Wiggle, 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 and whoa! He just took a whole chunk out of that wall down. Use this to find hidden roots you didn't know about. Bandana Waddle Dee was pulled through the vortex along with Kirby. When he heard that his fellow Waddle Dees were being captured by a beast pack, he grabbed his trusty spear and ran to help. He can join you as P2 while you explore the new world. Are these onions? Are these bunions? Okay. Ah, They're pomegranates. There is someone that I knew that would call them pomegranates without fail. But... That was in- in his- in his mind, it was a pomegranate. You couldn't say it was a pomegranate, it was- it was pomegranate. You know, we were just a, a fruit, really. I mean, when I, me, Pomegranate, was in the Beatles, we was, we was writing all kinds of stuff, really. You know, me and John Lemon, George Apricot, Ringo Starfruit. I like how you can slow down time, but the timer stays consistently just going. I mean, I could have one-cycled him. Kirby, where should we go next? Next level. Concrete Islands. But how do we get down there? I mean, like a mole ability? Mole. Nice! There is a mole ability! What the hell? It's like Mario Galaxy 2. Is this a brand new ability that has never been seen before in a Kirby game? Oh, and you can even kind of fly through the air a little bit. They mentioned it in the trailer as new. That's cool. I mean, it could have worked in 2D, but 
Maybe it's even cooler in 3D. You get a lot of airtime with it. It's a little bird. What kind of bird is that? It's not a seagull. Greet three seabirds. Bad luck! Kill one! It is a seagull. It didn't... It didn't look... It, was, it wasn't eating trash. That's my only qualifier for why I didn't think it was a seagull. There's no more. I did. I want more seabirds. <laughs> Dear God. Just flat now. <laughs> it's yeah. It's gone. Did I miss a hidden Waddle Dee? This game has a lot of hidden stuff. Why you fall? Kirby, why you fall? It's in the first area? Oh, okay. I'm bad at finding hidden things in this game. I've missed so much already. Koibi's got his white goggles. Make landfall on the Isle of Treasure. God damn, there's a lot of stuff. Hang on a second. If your health is low, just eat a Maxim tomato to fully heal yourself. They're packed with nutrients. Did these fall through the same vortex as Kirby and his friends? Or were they in the new world already? It's hard to tell, but everyone seems to enjoy them. Even the beast pack. Bernard. This uppity pup, oh, it's a St. Bernard, is an expert, expert marksman Pew Pew who's quick on his feet as he patrols the new world. His eyes are hidden under his hat, but that doesn't seem to affect his aim. He also has an impressive sniffer that can track prey far or near. Near or far. I'll do one more and then head back to the town, and then that'll be it for me today. Okay, I'm gonna make it a point to not miss a single thing. Goal. In this level. One of them has to be that. Remove three wanted posters. Someone said streams five hours of Elden Ring. Then you go play Kirby for five hours. It's fine, I will, says the chat member, of course. Well, I actually have to, like, go do stuff. But Elden Ring, I start at, like... <laughs> 10, 30, 11 sometimes? And even then, I usually do about three hours at a time. Not that I need to explain myself, but just so you know. Yam yeah, hours? No, no, no. 10, 30, 11 a.m. Elden Ring is one of those rare examples of a game, though, for me, that I don't even realize how long I've been playing it until I look over at the time. It's like, oh, well, let me just do this one next area. Oh, wait, 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 I didn't get this. Oh, there's a sword over there. Okay, wait, 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 wait. there's something in the distance. Okay, I'm gonna go to that thing in the distance, but wait a minute. Wait a minute, there's four other things on the way there that I need to get.
clutter needle blueprint. Okay. Lots of... Yeah, if the open world game is good enough and is just fun to play, I tend to get lost in them and their worlds are interesting enough. But yeah, most games I can really only stomach like two to two and a half hours at a time. And this game is really good. Like, I'm enjoying the hell out of this, but at the same time, I do actually have to... I have a friend in town who moved to Australia, and he is in town, and we got pizza last week, and uh, today we're going to get soup dumplings. Uh, a couple of my friends and, and he and myself. Very exciting. I haven't had these soup dumplings in probably five years. Chai, is this a goose or a duck? What is this thing? Or is it a swan? What is it? Is it, is it a waterfowl? Is it a heron? It's, it might be a swan. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a ballerina. So swan lake. I get it. Tornado. Oh, no shit. There's one. Kirby, go quicker. Go, go more fastly. Please. Oh yeah, the flying monkeys, the witch in and of itself. Like, yeah, there was some stuff. Whoa, what the hell is going on here? Controls aren't reversed. Gotta be honest, I, I do like a reversed control for anything flying. You can swap. It's an easy swap. Thank you, Nintendo, for giving me the easy swap. Challenge. Don't take a single hit while... Oh, I pressed the button to swap by accident, and now I'm all fucked up. Oh, God damn it! This is gonna take too long. I was gonna try to restart this section. It's just gonna take too goddamn long, never mind. Fuck. Oh well. I'm just gonna have to deal with the fact that I never will get all the Waddle Dees. And they will likely starve to death. Thank you, game. Freeze Florina with an ice ability. Oh, okay. Back in my day, on the NES, it wasn't about the reward, it was about just seeing the secret. That's all that was needed. Waddle deliveries. And Kirby's house. It's your home away from home. They built me a house? Okay, thank you for the sleep feature. <laughs> like that, that's good. Kirby needs a rest once in a while. Waddle deliveries 
we bring presents to your door. Just enter a present code you find, and we'll ship the related presents, drop them by your house. Here's a here's a cool password. Thank you, Square Enix. Every 20 minutes, you have to enter that in the password screen. Even the Konami code worked. It's all star coins. There's going to be a password up here, isn't there? No? Uh, what about this? When you use an evolved copy ability, I grow a bit stronger too. My spirit will power up to match the evolution level of your copy abilities. Try it out in co-op mode. Glad I can keep up with- ah, Glad I can keep up with you out there, Kirby. Kind of makes me feel like a real hero, you know? And a human bean. Actual bean people, by the way. Game news apparently works too. Uh, next time, let me uh, let me get going. I think the game auto saves. So, all right. Well, the game is fun. I'm very impressed. Kirby did a good, a good. I think uh, I'm kind of curious to see where it goes and if it continues to go that way. But so far, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. So yeah, Kirby. Very nice. Alright. Time to continue missing... like... secrets. We're far from the beast's territory, so we thought building a town here would keep us safe. Thank goodness you came along, Kirby. It's Erio. You said something about replaying the last level since you missed everything. I missed maybe a couple things. Yeah, I missed stuff. I don't know if I'm going to replay the level. That wouldn't... Maybe... Might... Oh. See, I'm too busy trying to explain what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm missing... I'm messing up the game and me explaining what I'm doing. Okay. Maybe that's something I would replay on my own. But for now, let us see new things, and then maybe... Like, before I finish the game entirely, I'll go back and check out a couple levels where I missed stuff. Oh man, I just missed a Quake Surge. <laughs> Must not like air. I'm very happy that the target time doesn't give you something unique, because then I would go for it. Also, I found out, like, almost all of the passwords either just give you money, or give you money and, like, one other thing, meaning one of those stars. What is the closest non-curb game you can compare this to? Mario 3D World is my first comparison. Even a little bit of a hat in time. Not because of the game structure, but just the charm of the, the visuals, I think. See, I wouldn't mind a Donkey Kong game set up like this. Like, if they wanted to try Donkey Kong in 3D again. Like, this is kind of the way forward for a number of games that were um, 2D platformers. You could just do... this style. Also, you see that milk? That milk crate? That milk crate is a playable character in this Boomerang game. Which is also the milk- the same milk crate, the very same from the meme that dances. And the very same milk crate. And why am I calling it a milk crate? Milk carton. Wow. Milk carton from the, bl the blur video and the meme. Coffee and TV. Is the name of the blur song. 
There's a little mil milk carton lad that, it, that runs away from home. Oh, right, right, right. Kind of surprising how um, useful the mouthful mode is compared to some other Kirby mechanics. Like, Planet Robobot had the mechs. Wasn't there, like, large Kirby mode in one of the games? I feel like sometimes the games have, like, obligatory stage segments where you must do the, the gimmick. There wasn't Big Kirby. I guess that was Mario. But I feel like the, the way that these objects have been integrated into the gameplay feel a little bit more natural to the level design. And also, I don't know, it just kind of works really well for me. This whole game works for me. Like, there's really not much I, di I dislike about it. I found the golden fish. The difficulty is the only real thing that one could justifiably complain about. Oops. Oh. So far, what I've noticed about this game is that the challenge comes from finding all the secrets. Eat three tins of fish. Like, why? Why Why is that an objective? I don't know. I'm fine with it. Vinny, you missed a fish, lol. Did I already miss one? Lol. Lol is a great, like, acronym. It would be an acronym. LOL is a punctuation. Lots of love. That's right. What was that one person who was like, your, your, um, your uncle died, LOL. Lots of love. They thought it was lots of love, and it was like, that's not what it meant. It was just some, like, family member of some, some person on the internet. Stuff like this in video games gives me cave story flashbacks. And how frustrated I was the first three times I played that game because I didn't save Curly. Because of the fucking water... area. There's two knee fish right here. Chat, what's the only fish with two knees? Ham. Correct. The answer is ham. That, that's the fish. I missed one objective. Music is good. That wasn't from when I worked at the TV station. That was way before that. That's 1995. 94. Win the battle without falling into the water. Swish. Sling that sharp-edged boomerang. Use it to grab far-off items. Hold the button down to freeze it in midair and charge it up. That'll make it extra powerful. Swish. Storage Mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through the vortex. Now he can stuff an entire set of lockers into his mouth. Wiggle and thrash. You know, just a little wiggle and thrash until you tip over. Hey. Who put this behind the lockers? These challenges get close to impossible in wild mode, says a, a chat member. So yeah, that that's, seems to be where the challenge lies in this game, is really just trying to get all the stuff without taking damage for some of them, going through a level, finding all the little things. Impossible for babies. Alright, never mind. I was one guide. They have Babby mode, they have Wild mode, they should have another difficulty. Like a harder difficulty. What should it be called? Vinny mode. Tread mode? Dave difficulty. Beast mode. Two knees mode. Okay, thanks. <laughs> God. 
<laughs> goblin mode. Alright, so, we have new blueprints. Let's do it. Child mode, mild mode, and wild mode. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I like the new outfit. Oh, that's cool! You can, like, trip enemies. <laughs> Clutter needle. Pointy, spiky clutter all rolled up into a ball. It's needles upon needles. What a powerful weapon. Roll forward and release to send sharp clutter flying out around you. Just looks cooler. It's more powerful. It's also like a nice little Kirby 64 throwback. Danger, danger. This ability makes the biggest boom of all. You can hold the button down and make it e uh, even... Biggester. Nothing will escape the blast. Whoosh. I really sold that. Wow, those Waddle Dees are now fucking dead. <laughs> hey Kirby, got a sec? Now that Waddle Dee Cafe's open, we're looking to hire someone. It's just a part-time gig. They call him Charlie Hustle. That's right, that's what we called him. Check each customer's food order, then select the item they want. Is this overcooked? Overcurbed. Not really. You can see what they're thinking about eating. I can't believe Kirby's a psychic. Why does Kirby say hi when they're leaving? Oh, Jesus. What happened in 1950? Something. I don't know. The War of 1812. Thank you, chat member. Wait, is chat actually complimenting me? On my ability to serve delicious food? Frenzy gig. There's a Kerr burger. Burger! Oh, that's not it! Retry. Why would you want tomato when the burger has tomato on it? You get yourself a nice burg and tomato. Just trying to sell the product, don't mind me. Kirby, we need to cook.
Yeah, that one... That one definitely goes a bit faster. Kirby's taken on a side gig at the counter of the Waffle... <laughs> of the Waddle D Cafe. Of the Waffle House! He's dressed like a focused employee. But he's secretly fighting the urge to gobble up each dish himself. This might be his greatest struggle yet. Stay strong, Kirby. Do you remember when Gus had that poor employee, like, clean the grill three times? Because he needed, um, well, anyway. Gonna have Kirby... Waddle D owner is gonna have Kirby clean, clean the grill. Serve food well into the night. Oh, that's- that's perfect. We're closer to Kirby than we've ever been before. This is like when Pokemon games give you the ability to pet Pikachu. Vinny, there's your big Kirby mode. It's Bigby, which was, I think, also Samsung's shitty voice recognition software that you have to delete from your phone. It's Bixby. Well, how many Samsung phones did I just activate by saying that? Bixby, cock! Quick! I need it now! Bixby! All right, now that is not going to be taken out of context. Cock! But I wonder how many chat members I just said that and their phone activated and took them to a photograph of a chicken on Wikipedia. Okay, did anyone actually not delete Bixby from their phone? Uh, a couple people. What is Bixby? It's like if Alexa had a younger brother that, like, failed at high school sports and, like, got really poor grades and didn't want to look up rat porn for you, but, like, spelled everything that you looked up incorrectly. Captured Waddle Dee. One of the Waddle Dees being held captive by the fearsome beast pack. There are so many out there waiting to be saved, you can almost hear them calling for help. Wawa. 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 Let me out, let me out. Let me out! Wait, you hear that too? One of them must be nearby. Wait, you stupid fuck! Oh, Mario, I'm in the box. Oh, oh, Mario, I can't. Oh, Luigi, I need you to get me out of this box. Oh, Mario. Oh, Mario, I'm in trouble. Get me out of here, Mario, please. Oh. Fuck, Mario, thanks, you saved me! Hello! Finally, the bit worked. Uh, well, it, I never have to do it again now, because there's a good ending. Yeah. At least it wasn't the diaper chief. Oh, thanks for reminding me about that bit. That's one of my favorites. Colonel, I found the diaper chief. Oh, that's right. Who's a big baby snake? Yeah. Me. I'm the diaper chief, not him. That's right, snake. You'll always be my diaper chief. Oh, no. Colonel. I'm... I'm scared. What are you scared for, snake? I watched the pee-pee poo-poo man over the weekend. And I had no one to talk about it with. Vinny, so how's being almost 40 working out for you? Pretty good. One thing that's cool about getting older is you care less about what people think about you. Yeah, that's right. I'm a little diaper chief. I don't know, you just develop, like, some more innate maturity. You know, there's just certain things that no longer appeal to your sense of humor. I'll give you an example. I don't like the Luigi in a small box bit anymore. I find myself... <laughs> I find- I find it shallow and pedantic, and I find myself just a little too mature for that bit. Diaper Chief is here to stay, though. I mean, even Mr. Dink made a comeback. Mr. Dink showed up in the Core Keeper Part 2. 
It got fucking weird. Uh, you know what, at this point, it's less about me doing this in any proper amount of time, and more about... just... it needs to happen. I have a minute and a half to do this. That's really all I'm concerned about now. Oh, Jesus. What are we doing, Kirby? What are we doing? What are we doing, pal? My brother in Christ. What are we doing? I did it. Complete this in 30 seconds to get yourself 50 extra coins! 145. Wow, okay. Hey Link, it's me, Fletch! <laughs> no, I'm not doing that bit. That's a- that's a bad bit if I've ever made one. Uh, listen, we- we go through... our bad seasons. You know, not every show has a perfect season. Do you- uh, yeah, well, Breaking Bad and Saul would have a word. Anyway, um... Tropic Woods. I'm assuming I'm going to fail all of the challenges present. In my thoughts, I have seen rings of smoke through the trees. And the forests will echo with laughter. Does anybody remember laughter? It's gonna be a very specific reference. Very specific. In my... And as we wind on down the road... I mean, I, I say it's a bold choice to do Led Zeppelin when you have a voice range that's two octaves lower. But I gotta give the dude credit, he had balls of fucking steel. And he sounded pretty good. This was harder than Radon. Yeah, it was. So we got destroy the roots. Clear without using a copy ability. Uh, can I get some hints on... Is there one for not taking damage? Certain time and one for no damage. Got it. Wise Waddle D has arrived in town. He'll give you tips on finding missing blueprints. Wise Waddle D. My phone out of batteries? What was that noise? How do you do? They call me the Wise Waddle After I landed here, I found this mysterious book. List all the locations of the undiscovered blueprints. Also collects high scores and tons of other info from all over the world. If you'd like to know more, I'd be happy to share. If you haven't missed any blueprints thus far. If I read about a new blueprint's location, I'll help you find it. When I say car mouth cake, do you get a bit hungry? That item has been eaten 500... 47,000 times? By everyone total. <laughs> the number of star coins you've collected is um, over 5,000. And the collective amount, <laughs> combined total of everyone all over the world, is 10 billion. With a B. This week's world record for solo gig frenzy is... 8,370. They served 49 Waddle Dees. Holy shit! The world record for defeating Tropic Woods is six seconds? Wait, what? No, 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 no. That's not six seconds, is it? No. Not hacks. It's real and not hacks. I guess I could have slept to recover health, right? But then we wouldn't have gotten this nice cutscene. of the screen fading to white, and then Kirby already ate. 
Someone said you can't make an eating animation. It would just be out of character for Kirby to eat something, truthfully. Holy shit. That outfit. <laughs> Squeeze your hog. Amusement park. This game has everything I like. From the Bright Sun Films channel and the Abandoned Locations channels on YouTube. There's like abandoned malls, department stores, abandoned cities, abandoned amusement parks. There's an episode on the Hard Rock Park that I really liked. Hi. Oh. Oh. Just wanted to wipe the smile off of that smug dog's face, but that's not, that's not gonna happen, is it? Enjoy the view from the top of the rocket. I have your, uh, ducklings. Wait, no, I don't. Where, where'd they go? Uh, I had your ducklings. Now they're all, like, lost again. Best game. You know what I kind of think of now? In locations such as this? Silent Hill 3. It's abandoned in a different way, this game. If you really want to go to Silent Hill 3, if you want to see what it's like at the Silent Hill 3 amusement park, just go to Coney Island anytime you'd like. All right, here, if you, if you really want to experience some fun, go during a hot summer night, like 100 degrees, get yourself a glizzy, and walk around between midnight and 2 a.m. Don't actually do this, by the way. But if you do, good luck. Uh... Just... just good luck. That sounds like a good clickbait bit, uh, video, said someone in chat. Coney Island. At 1 a.m. Good luck! Mom, Vinny said... Vinny said go to Coney Island at, at 1 a.m. I, I wanna go, but... I don't even live in New York! Tucker, you're not going to Coney Island. No, he said it's a clickbait video. I want to go. He said I should go to the Atlantic City Boardwalk and walk around the city at night, like outside of the boardwalk at like 1 a.m. He said it's a good idea. He said I should put my wallet in my back pocket. Boy, the Tucker voice sure has changed over the years. Until I saw the edit that Pierre did, I had no idea that Tucker sounded like, um, mom? Um, Vinny said we should- like, I didn't realize I was doing it that- in that... timbre, that register. I thought... I thought I was... doing it like, Oh, Mom! <laughs> oh. Oh. Red burger? No, it's not a burger. What is that? That's- is that mochi? Macaroon. Oh, right. I can't believe I can be a roller coaster in this game. I fucking love roller coasters. Probably have to get all the coins for a challenge. What are you? Beans up. Vinny, a vo roller coaster. I just need you to stop. Please. You, you meant like you were doing a thing, like a voracious appetite, right, that Kirby has. 
Like Kirby has a voracious appetite. I'll try that one more time. That's nice, Tucker. I need you to do the... I need you to do the garbage, throw the garbage out. Oh, but when you wanted me to become an Eldritch Horror... That's... Tucker, you can't be an Eldritch Horror. You have homework. Oh, mom, it's too late! I become an Eldritch Horror! All right, that's it. We're gonna IP block this guy. Should have been done years ago. Oh. Sure, I missed some coins, but I. I I'm happy now. I want to see Tucker evolve into some kind of, like, eldritch... ...like... ...god that eats universes and stuff. So, Kirby? Yeah, sure. At least Kirby's cute, though. You do realize that Kirby will never be allowed to rest, as long as there is money to be made. Kirby will be on an endless pursuit of his friends, his stars, whatever objectives he needs to complete for all eternity. Cursed, some would say. Just like his father, Sakurai. I wonder what Sakurai's up to. A break? I mean, maybe the dude takes a break by playing video games. I mean, that's one of the reasons why, like, sure, I have a healthier schedule, I take more days off, and I do less. But, at the end of the day, I'm playing video games, and I kind of love doing that, so... It's weird when your job is also the thing you enjoy doing most. <laughs> clean is better than dirty, and dirty's meaner than clean. So, I've been streaming a little bit more, I've been, like, recording more. So many fucking good games out at the moment. I gotta say, the graphics on Thorby right now... Phenomenal. Like, being able to actually see the water inside of Cor uh, Corby... It, I mean, this is- this is good graphics. This is good graphics. I, I think this is a fantastic song, too, by the way. Big fan. What, people are saying this sounds like Perfect Strangers? What's that? Is it the Post Malone song? It's an Undertale reference. Of course. I thought the bass line sounded like that Post Malone song a little bit. I thought that's what people were referencing. It's not an Undertale reference. It is an Undertale reference. It's not. It is. It isn't. It is, but it, it's not. It's not. An, it's an isn't. It's an 80s TV show. Oh! From the cards! I opened a Perfect Stranger cards! Pack. Hi. Hi, how you doing, everybody? It's me, Kirby. Yeah, this is my real voice. And, uh, you know, I'm in the movie. <laughs> Yeah, Mario movie, no, this, this is my real voice. I mean, I've been fucking all cute for a couple of years now. Yeah. Tortorner. Tortorner has a whole shell made of concrete, as if it walked off of so with somebody's sidewalk. It has a thick skull and a mean bite, but its body is pretty delicate. A mouthful mode ability might help you crack through its shell and land a brutal blow from above. I think that was totally enough for the Turtle Club. Someone wanted to know if I've ever done voice acting. Just small projects. 
It was, yeah, if it was a good gig, I'd do it. What is a good gig? I don't know, something I'm interested in, perhaps. Hello, Peter. Yeah, like Family Guy, exactly. Vinny, vine sauce! Hello, Peter. Well, remember, the Family Guy Twitter liked Ross's, um, video, and even commented on it. So there's a very good chance that someone from Family Guy, like one of the higher-ups, saw me say, Hello, Peter. So maybe, hey, they heard my voice. They see my quality of, of the, the voice acting talent of, Hello, Peter. And maybe they say to them, you know, we need this guy. I mean, this seems less good, because it is a toy. Sure, this may be the cutest bonk to ever bonk a bonk, but this is no plaything. It's rapid, continuous attacks with enough power to hammer stakes and crush enemies. <laughs> Alright, fine. You, you convinced me. Carby with new car. What a brilliant marketing decision Carby was, whether or not they intended it to be. This is... This is ridiculous. Gold. <laughs> Those fucking rewards. One of the challenges is sub-20. Should I retry? I think I should retry if it's a sub-20 challenge, sure. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, man. Do it in 15 seconds for an egg. For a second, I was like, wait a minute, egg? Because I've been playing that wind wingspan game. And one of the features of the game is your birds have to lay eggs. I was like, oh, you get a free egg for that. No shit. That's... Ugh. I feel like, yeah, hitting enemies is also slowing me down. Oh, man. <laughs> well, there you go. Challenge complete. 17... 817. I'm gonna find out someone did that in 13 seconds. 16 is the world record at the moment. Maybe. It's a catchy little song. I'm a sucker for an ostinato melody. Which means the melody repeats under a different bass line or a different series of chords. It's not, like, completely ostinato because it changes a little at the end, which I like even better. Got a nice catchy bass line, too. Wow. Oh, that was a challenge! Ah, now I have new sword. Alright. That wasn't even optimal, but, um, question, is there a challenge boost through the- okay. So it's not like some crazy time, okay. You missed a hole you uncovered in the previous area. Fuck, you're right. That Waddle Dee will never be saved now. If only you listened. Well, here's the difference. If only I read the messages in chat. Because listening implies that I'm actually hearing something. Sometimes I get lucky and I read a helpful chat message, and sometimes I'm, I read a chat message that's like, Vinny, pee pee doo doo. So, it's just kind of the luck of the draw. Sometimes you draw a good bird card, and sometimes you draw the owl that doesn't have any special abilities. Sometimes I look in chat, I see someone typing like dumpster doo doo, and I'm like, 
That's awesome, chat member. Let me ignore the other chat members for the next minute after that so that I can talk about dumpster doo-doo and not get any helpful chat messages about what to do next. Vinny, but you started Diaper Chief. Yes, but here's the question. Did I start Diaper Chief because of the influence from the chat? Or have I always been like this and chat is attracted to it so they join because I do bits like Diaper Chief? What came first, the chicken or the egg? And in which habitat is that egg laid? So I get a giant sword, but I lose speed. All right. Can we bring back Bob's Burgers? Bob's Burgers never went anywhere. God, it really is the Moonlight Sword. <laughs> does a lot of damage. Great sword users in Monster Hunter would be like this. Here's what- here's Monster Hunter. This is Monster Hunter. Gameplay. I'll do a couple of these challenges and I want to do another level. Vinny, you forgot to carve. When does Sunbreak come out again? End of June? I'm still on the fence about it, because I didn't get the PC version of Monster Hunter. And, in any case, I'm, like, a little too... stuck in Elden Land to even think about playing a new Monster Hunter game. Would I play more on the Switch or restart on the PC? I don't know. The Switch version is pretty good. It's actually very good. These days, you can just brute force your game with PC power and PS4 power and PS5 power, and you don't have to do all the optimizations that you normally would have had to do on some of the older consoles. So by the time the Switch port happens, it's like, what, what went wrong? It's like, well, you designed this so that the power of those consoles or the PC could just kind of overwrite maybe some sloppy programming. Programming? I'm not a programmer, so I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a kind of a dummy, but that's what I think is happening. And when it comes to optimization, sometimes it takes a long time. Sometimes, like, Bloodstained took, like, another year and a half to get right, if I'm not mistaken. They released it, ran like crap, and then they had to, like, redo various parts of the game just to make it run well on Switch. And it's not the most graphically intensive game, so you have something like that, and then you have something like, um, Panic Button, who can, like, do miracle ports of The Witcher 3 and Doom. But it's very playable. And it looks very nice. It's not like a 3DS game, is what I'm trying to say. I like... I like Monster Hunter on the Switch. So, that whole big spiel was, if I get Sunbreak, it'll probably be the Switch version. Yo, is this, like, neon laser tag kind of shit? The theming of this game is on point. I like these enemies, too. But, yeah, sadly, some of the, the visual stuff was just tough to look at. Very inconsistent frame rates. <laughs> look at that! This looks awesome. It's a nice visual effect on Kirby. Like when you put a flashlight behind your hand. <laughs> or like the webbing of your fingers, which definitely don't get a paper cut there, because that that's awful. Uh-oh, XSplit is doing the stupid thing again. It's basically just pop-up windows every 10 to 15 seconds. I mean, I'm not even... I'm sitting on my couch right now playing this, so... I don't know. I'm just gonna let it be stupid, I guess. Are we literally backseat gaming then? Uh, sure, I guess. Ah! This game is too scary for me. I gotta say, the Switch is gonna be one of those consoles that has, like, a lot of fond memories for a lot of people because there were so many good entries to various franchises. I thought the Yoshi game was underappreciated, too. Arceus, I would say, is, like I said, my favorite Pokemon game, maybe, that I've played since the first one. 
in many ways. Even though I didn't finish post-game, and I know people want me to do that. Maybe one day. I just haven't had the desire. But it's, it's good. Just would have benefited from more time in the oven and, like, a better budget. <laughs> Maybe not budget, but yeah. There we go. Cool secret. So yeah, I, I think Ar Arcus will go down as, like, having been a nice breath of fresh air for the series. Maybe not enough for some people, but still quite good. Next one is supposed to be open world, which is one step further. I still kind of think it's a little soon. Like, Arceus just came out, and Shining Pearl and all that just came out. So that's just me. Just please stop saying Ar Arceus like that, says a chat member. Okay, I'll stop saying it like that. I touched a ghost gordo. A common beast that can be found all over the new world. They're pretty cute, but they have a dangerous wild side. They'll growl and jump at anyone who crosses them. A whole bunch of these critters attack the Waddle Dees. Funny. You'd think they'd get along. And also... Uh, Paper Mario was pretty good. It wasn't a true return to form, but it ended up being way better than I expected. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh-oh, Vinny, you brought it up. What, Paper Mario? I guess that's a, a touchy subject for some people. Vinny, I was with you on everything except that. Alright. You don't have to be with me on everything. You can be your own person. If streamer doesn't share your opinion... <laughs> if I don't share your opinion on something, if we have slight differences in personality, in opinions, in even ideology in some cases, it, I think that's okay. Because we still share a planet. You can, you can choose to watch or not, or whatever. But I like Paper Mario Origami King. I didn't love it. But I thought it was probably just behind the Wii one. So I like Thousand Year Door the best, then 64 from what I remember. And then Super Paper Mario. And then like right behind that was Origami King. And I haven't played the others. And yeah, I wish they would return to what made Paper Mario great. In the first place. And go back to the original format. Absolutely. Oh my god, this is busted. Wow, it's the power of time and explosion. So yeah, the Switch, I think, is just a, a really nice... Got a really good library. Even Link's Awakening was pretty cool. Alright, I'm done. It's late. This is uh, my 1.30 a.m. old man bedtime now. And uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good night. I'm not doing the Wordle tonight. My brain is too broken for Wordle. I'm not even pronouncing words correctly, but I will uh, see you soon with more Tunic and Curb. That's it. So yeah, good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. Anyway, welcome to Kirby. I played a little bit, nothing new. Here's what I did. I went and um, got some Waddle Dees that I missed. That's pretty much it. Yeah, we, we- I waddled these nuts, exactly. That's so fun. We keep doing that joke, and I laugh every time. Careful with those spikes. Jab enemies in place or pick them up by rolling around. Nab a b whole bunch of them together and then launch them off all at once. Pow. Was it an April Fool's joke? That Square released a, sa a statement saying that you can no longer change the music in the Chrono Cross Radical Dreamers edition? Did I dream that? Is that fake? It's real. Oh, okay, that is... Huh. Okay. Well, we here at Square have gauged the reaction to our new remixes to have been largely negative. So, to combat this problem, we're just going to make it so you can't switch back to the original soundtrack. Fuck you very much. Mitsuda has clarified that the new music is just the cleaned up original tracks. Okay. Alright. Because my interpretation was it was only the new remixes and that was it. 
that you get. You get nothing. And you will like these remixes, or you will listen to nothing else. The new remixes are for the vinyl. It was never remixes in the first place. Well, they released a trailer of new versions of old songs, and they did not sound good. The, you know, the new stuff that they released sounded good. I, I talked about this a couple times already. I didn't really like any of the stuff that was, like, original arrangements of old songs. Like, for, you know, I thought it was bad. Well, hello, chat member. Thank you for joining. Many chat members have joined for Kirby. This is Obi. <laughs> when I see three windmills, I think of Elden Ring, because everything is Elden Ring. There was just an Elden Ring uploaded today, and then I just uploaded another Elden Ring. Granted, it's not nine hours, but... Like, Johnny put the newest Elden Ring that was available on the Full Sauce channel, and, and I uploaded three more parts for Johnny to consolidate for a future day. So I'm still enjoying it. I'm still really having a lot of fun with it. Good luck catching up. That's something like seven hours or so. Have you abandoned plans for Elden Live? Not necessarily. But I am getting to a very, very late stage of that game. But if not, it, you know, it's no big deal. If I can't do live Elden Ring, it'll still all be there. You know, it's like... I've chronicled my entire journey through that game, except like one hour where I went to go backtrack to pick up a couple weapons. I want my life back, chat. I mean, I love Elden Ring, it's so good. You will miss it when you're done. Oh yeah, absolutely. I will. And Breath of the Wild 2 isn't happening for like another year, so... That's good though. Maybe it's for the best, because I can usually only handle one big open world game at a time. Like, I can't even think about going back to Skyrim right now, even for fun. It seems like every five years, we get like a major entry in the genre. I know some people will disagree with this because they don't like one of these three games. But Skyrim was ten years ago, Breath of the Wild was five, Elden Ring just came out. What will be in the next five years? Not to say there haven't been innovations in open world. Absolutely there have been. I mean, Witcher 3 did a lot, right? In some ways, Witcher 3 feels like the anti-Elden Ring. Or opposite, because... Witcher 3 is, like, all cutscene and story and, you know, discussing and... It's not... Well, actually, they're very... They're more... Listen, they're more similar than they're not. But Elden Ring, it's like, oh, I found Patches. He mentioned a name of a character I've never even heard of. And I feel like the combat is very, very different. Witcher 3 combat does nothing for me. But I love Elden Ring combat. Duck? So... You leave that duck alone. Is this all of them? It's all of them. This is literally the best quest in the game, except the other one where I had to do the same thing. So E3's fucking cancelled. And Jeff Keighley is talking about... Nothing, really. He's just, like, winky-facing us with emojis. It's like, Jeff Keighley, don't give me the, the winky emoji. The bedroom eyes emoji. I don't know what you're planning. Are you doing E4? I think he wants to do E4, everybody. Wait, UFO is in this game? Oh, that's Tornado. But, um, yeah, E3 will be missed. They don't want to do a digital event, but... You know, most of the big companies don't want to, like, participate. And it's it's been on a slow decline. It just kind of fizzled out. E3 has ghosted us. But here's the thing. Last year, a lot of the stuff that I liked the best was the pre-recorded stuff, because it didn't have a car on stage, it didn't have John Sony gloating about sales numbers, or Phil Microsoft talking about how great their hardware is that only 10 people own, 
or some like doofy Nintendo presentation where they got to do with like Wiimote drums. So I'm okay with pre-recorded shit. What about Gamer Talk? Oh man, Gamer Talk, Ubisoft. What a presentation. How are we going to find out about the next clone of the other game that they're making? If we don't have a Ubisoft conference. How's that for a record? There's a secret if you... Wait, wait, wait. There's a secret if you finish at 86 seconds? Son. Okay. It's real, it's true. Say no more. It's because it's the year Hal was, like, founded. Is that what they're doing? So, 86 seconds. Between 86 and 87. So, how was your day? Um... It was okay, thank you. Uh, some plumbing-related incidents. Uh, but otherwise I got a lot done. Among Us Twitter just announced a horse mode? I don't know what you're talking about. Holy shit, it was real. <laughs> well, do I retry? I don't get to keep this stuff if I retry, right? Just leave and then come back. No, 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 um, here's why I, I don't think I would want a new battery, is because I would want a better camera, too. Because when I go to, like, places to film things these days, I don't want to bring camera equipment. So, I want a new camera. The phone is definitely slowed down, and I think a combination of those things, plus, um, fucking Vine Ryzen is offering me trade-in, um, money towards a new one. So I might not even really have to spend all that much. Go DSI if you want a good camera. And I was just about to ask what kind of camera that is. Or what kind of phone that is. That is literally the Nintendo DSI that that chat member is referring to. Remove Elphalyn's wanted poster. Oh no shit. Could this be Elden Ring? Get it? If you don't, um, every time someone in Elden Ring, every time someone finds a thing that looks like this, or any round thing that is perfectly a circle, someone writes a message next to it and says, could this be Elden Ring? Or could this be Butthole? One of those two things. I would imagine those are two distinctly opposite things in terms of goodness and differentness. Oh! How many- okay, be honest, chat. How many of you fell for that, too? Definitely, I'm not getting the bonus. Got the bonus. What? Is this where chat freaks the fuck out? I've heard tales of a chat killer boss. Chat, let me lecture you. I need you to... I need you to be lectured. On chat etiquette. Alright? Now listen, just because something weird is about to happen... It doesn't mean that you have to freak the fuck out. FREAK OUT! EVERYBODY FREAK OUT! Why would they do this? Elden Ring has prepared me for this. Nothing could have prepared me for this. Chloraline, the scar- the Star Scourge. The Scar Scourge. Okay, I am not making even a single attempt to dodge this shit. Oof. Use the sword. I have to get my runes back. 
Should I use the jellyfish or the mimic tier? I mean, this thing has a pretty insane block. I don't know if anything can get through this. It's a little cheesy. This is like a lot cheesy. <laughs> oh my god. I definitely completed a couple challenges there. Defeat without hovering. No shit. That was one of them, huh? Hit high up the line using Ranger. Oh, I'd have to do that again with Ranger. I mean... When you're using Ranger, that fight is way more challenging. And you can actually, like, dodge around and do some cool stuff. Otherwise, yeah, you just hold block. Waddle D-Town has grown even bigger. What? Series 2 just dropped. Yo! Yo! Let's just wait a sec while all that funny stuff gets ready. Who's this character? What is, who's that? I've never seen that character before. Meet, meet the... Meet the night. Meet, meet the night? Meetle. Oh, these are more expensive. That's how they get you. The mysterious vortex brought bonkers to the new world, too. They arrived before Kirby and quickly joined the ranks of the fearsome beast pack. Of course they did. They really liked their new look. They're getting along with all their new co-workers, especially the Mookies. The Mookies. I like to watch the Mookies. Vinny, you know who the chase figure is, right? Yeah, I, I know who the chase figure is. Charizard. It's Clawizard. This robust swimmer has a powerful jaw. It floats on the water's surface, watching and waiting for its prey. Its hide is as tough as armor, so you'll need something bigger than a copy ability to take him down. Do you think Mouthful Mode would do the trick? Wandaria's founder based the park's most popular characters on their own two dogs, Wandog and Wandi. These two friends travel through the cosmos together in their stories, working as a team and having all kinds of wild adventures. Yo, corn's in this game? Do you remember Corn Porn Industries? I know you remember Corn Porn Industries. The question is, did anyone save a picture of Corn Porn Industries? Burrow underground with your mighty drill. You can use this to dodge enemy attacks. If you dig in certain spots, you might be able to sneak off into off-limit areas. Don't get caught sneaking off. Not Corn Hub. Corn Porn. It's what I made for college for my graphic design class. I guess no one fucking saved it. Wow, some friends you are. What kind of viewers are you? <laughs> pencil drill. It is a pencil. How about that? Wow, that's really dumb. I love it. I even like what- look what happens to the, the floor. And like there's pencil shavings? I- I love this game. Ah, we got the tornado ability. Fleur tornado. I just wish there were a little bit more in the way of combos. Like, the evolutions are cool, but the 2D Kirby games were starting to pile combos onto combos onto combos. And this, like, takes it back a little bit. I really should just, like, make one of my buttons on my Steam Deck. Stream Deck! Stream Deck! Stream Deck! Um, have the spin word. So I don't have to say it. Welcome to the Coliseum's reception area. You can enter tournaments here in a battle and battle a rush of former bosses. If you make it all the way to the end and come out on top, you'll win a special reward. And that's not all. We seem to have an unexpected warrior using our first tournament as training. All the way from Planet Popstar, stuck in this new world like us. That's right, it's Meta Knight. So are you going to enter the tournament too? <laughs> not now. I don't want to do it now. I want to see new things, and then we can do old bosses another time. There's a new boss. 
and you get a sword blueprint from it. All right. All right. You're officially entered in Meta Knight Cup. It's about to get intense in there. I can't wait. The entrance to the Coliseum is right over there. Prepare for some tough battles, then head on in. <laughs> this guy's cheating. Wait, you use flask in game? You're not supposed to heal in Elden Ring. That's smart of me. Listen, I see tomato. I want to eat. It looked... It looked delicious. <laughs> Kirby enters the battle arena, eats a tomato, refuses to elaborate, and then leaves. That was almost a no-damage Corimondo fight. Oh, Kirby music is always great. There you go. I'll try pencil rockets. I'm gonna fight wood with wood. I thought about it for a minute, and just, I can't deny that this would be too fun not to do. Oh, oh, oh no. This was absolutely the wrong choice. I mean, at least the pencils do some damage, but... Tree, I am killing you with your son, who has become a pencil. I guess I just forgot how to dodge. Alright, um... Hmm. Just reading some chat messages. Just reading some cool chat messages. Definitely not planning on banning anyone. Oh fuck, the ban duck has been unleashed in chat. <laughs> Nah. This is good. Why is Big Tomato replaced by Little Tomato? Hey, Zito. That was, like, pitiful. I don't mind waiting for Bayonetta 3, we have Kirby. And to the winner, a big sack of money. Or, or I could just get this. That's fine, too. Thank you for joining me here, Meta Knight. I don't know how you got here, but I'm not gonna find out. So, whatever. One thing that sucks about this big sword ability is you can't dodge. It's like an impenetrable shield, but you cannot dodge. And you can do more damage when you dodge. Holy shit. What are you doing? Oh, no, no, no! No, no, no! No! Beep 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 You can actually grab the sword. Could have stole the sword to see him use his original sword. Congratulations on a stunning victory, Kirby. Here's your hard won reward. Meta Knight sword blueprint. 
Okay, so maybe chat was right. Maybe it was worth it. So, you can see the power is pretty good, but the rapid fire is out of control amazing. Also very expensive to make. Very expensive. Waddle Dink. <laughs> That's Waddle Dink inventing new things. Wow. This Meta Knight sword has a bunch of cool attacks, just like its namesake. Sword slide, jump, and attack to use upper caliber. With full health, you'll even sling crescent shots. Like Zoldo? Oh my god. That is so cool. So, is this like Brawl Broken Meta Knight? Chat, I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna find Corn Porn. You can thank me now or later. Oh, there's a Lizarin found it. A Lizarin. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah, I needed to make a uh, company for a graphic design class. So I made Corn Porn Industries. I still ended up getting an A because you had to make like five or six. And this was one of the ones I made. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. It's just corn. Come on, chat. Be more mature than that. Just because the streamer shows you corn porn industries doesn't mean you have to be immature. Vinny, name one time chats acted immaturely. I think I could probably do you one better if I go for the times chat didn't act immaturely. Didn't act... Wait, that was a double negative. Fuck. This is a cool new theme. I guess the wings are for show. Oh, it doesn't shoot anymore. Destroy four animal snow sculptures. Why are we being rewarded for this? Very upsetting. Did you ever see those memes of like... Thank you for saving my life. And then the next frame, it's a picture of a cat. And the cat is thinking to himself, I am a cat. I am a Kirby. Thank you, Kirby. Be sure to thank Kirby every 20 minutes, by the way, if you get a chance to stream this game or make any video content. Yeah, you have to thank Kirby every 20 minutes. And then you have to say how much you enjoy all of his games. And how much you enjoy the new mechanics in this game. Even the ones where you have to draw on a touchscreen. Yep, those two. You gotta say how much you love them. Otherwise, Square Enix actually hires Chaos to kill you. Talk about snowballs. What is that even supposed to mean? I don't know. I just say words. I don't think. I, I hope then the chat can interpret them. My streams are like lyrics, man. You know? You know, it's up to your own interpretation. Man. You know what I mean, man? It's like, real chill with the vibe in the universe, my dudes. That's what it's all about, my man. You can just interpret however you interpret. That's all it is. Though jokes aside, you know, people do that anyway, and literally misunderstand every single word. <laughs> Vinny, you just blinded a challenge and a snowman. The music is really good. Meanwhile, Yoshi games are screaming right now because they don't... They're shitting, crying, coming, and screaming. Because... The last Yoshi game... Well, you know what? One of them had really good music. I forget which one it was, but... Wooly World had fine music. Yeah, Wooly World was the one I liked. That one had good music, yeah. That one and the original Yoshi's Island. And Yoshi's Story, I, I remember Ti Amo, which is Italian for... Eat pasta and die. Kirby shoots cre uh, cute creatures with guns. And for some reason, we're all still okay with Kirby.
There's that music skip again. That is my capture card. Reach the clock tower. So yeah, I see where I missed. It's very good. New Red Letter Media on Darkman. Sam Raimi. I've only seen the moment where Liam Neeson's... like, loses his shit, and the camera goes into his eye. That was like a famous, like, early internet clip I remember seeing. So I kind of want to watch that movie now. That happens a couple times. That sounds like a great movie. How are you going to stream LEGO Star Wars? Its soundtrack is a DMCA nightmare. Um... I'm... not sure. Yeah, Star Wars without the sound. That's it. Yep, yeah, perfect! What if Star Wars came out in 1977 with no soundtrack? Just like someone coughing in the movie theater while the crawl is going up. <laughs> I kind of think the movie would have been... like, kind of maybe a bomb. No, I mean, the music added so much. I don't think it would have been a bomb, but I, I don't think it would have been as popular. It's one of the best soundtracks of all time. If anything, I'm sure Twitch will be somewhat lenient. And not, like, ban people for streaming a video game. A literal video game that has come out in the year of our Lord, my brothers in Christ. Or MIDI mode, which just replaces the song with the MIDI version of the song. But yeah, I'm just really looking forward to LEGO Star Wars. Sometimes I'm going to play a game on stream, and then sometimes I'm going to do the rest of it on my own. Or stream one, pre-record one, stream one, pre-record one. I think that's probably the best way I'm going to be able to actually play through as many games that I want to play through. If it's like a busy year, you know? But otherwise, if I don't do it like that, it's just going to take forever to get through some games. Oh, that's not good. Alright, just checking. Just don't post cringe. Bro, I- what? No! You don't not understand! I'm not going to post cringe! And then Tucker becomes a rapper by the name of Post Cringe. I'm like Post Malone, but, you know, better. Tucker, you're getting a face tattoo? Yeah, Post Malone uh, said it was cool to do that, so, um... Tucker, what is that on your face? Oh, um, it's eyes and a, and a long nose. No, Tucker, I'm pretty sure that's a cock. No, no, it's just corn. I got it from uh, Corn Porn Tattoo Industries, bro. All right, Tucker, I'm your mother. How many times do I have to tell you? Stop calling me bro. I don't know, Mom. I'm thinking about becoming an island boy. Some chat member in Vinny's chat said I should do it, so I'm probably going to do it. I can do, like, the, the songs. Uh, I'm an island boy. Gadongo, Malongo. Mom, what's a Percocet? <laughs> uh, we already tried to send Tucker to boarding school. He ended up becoming a, a, a chav. What is up, Mom? It's me, Tucker. Yeah, I'm back from boarding school, Mom. Have you got any bangers and mush? So we couldn't send him to boarding school. So then we tried homeschooling him, but all he wanted to do all day was watch Fortnite kills. <laughs> he said his favorite teacher is Ninja. God, I had a whole other train of thought. Like an entire train of thought. And then it just went into Tucker mode for five minutes, and now I don't even know what I was going to say. It's gone. It's fucking completely gone. Uh, there are people that don't know this, even though I just revealed this information, but... I'm not gonna say where, but in the song Realign... If you listen closely, you will hear the sound of a plastic bag being played with a drumstick. That is... one of the Daves I know, I know. Playing that. Foley moment? Oh, that's good. That's good, chat member! That's a double entendre, I like that one. I'm still very impressed by that Foley joke. I wonder what percentage of my audience... ...picked up on it. Dave Foley was in Kids in the Hall. Kids in the Hall did the Dave's I Know song. And my friend Dave playing the bag technically is Foley. Do you see? There's like three layers to that joke. It's fantastic. What if chat member didn't even plan on that? 
And right now they're like, ha, of course, that was that's a good joke, right? I get no respect, huh? Gino Glizzy gets all the respect, huh? Famous comedian Gino Glizzy, most respected among all the comedians, influenced Rodney Dangerfield. Ask Jeff about that, he'll tell you. Is he related to Juno Spasta? That's right. In Elden Ring, there's a character that you have to um, assassinate for a quest line. His name is Juno Hoslo. It's like, yeah, I know him. I'm straight up, when I play that game, I play Elden Bling. I, I don't play Elden Ring for the armor stats anymore. Like a little bit, but mostly just I wear what looks cool. And I have a whole new set of armor. Every like three or four times I play it, I end up with the best armor I've ever seen up until that point. Hoslo said is good, the helmet not so much. That, we can agree on. Waddle D. These delightful residents of Planet Popstar landed in the new world before Kirby arrived. Things looking uh, looked grim when wild beasts began to capture them and steal their precious food, but with Kirby's help, they're rebuilding their town and starting over. Well... <clears throat> there's the... The chase figure. Lethal Leopard Chloraline. Chloraline tried to cut your adventure short at the Wandaria Circus. She normally acts as a point of contact for the Beast Pack's boss, but she couldn't resist the chance to track Kirby down herself. Her grace and speed are quite impressive, so the rest of the pack think of her as an idol. She has lots of fans. <laughs> yeah! Sword. Slice through this new world as a sword-wielding green-headed hero. Try charging up before you swing for extra power. Train hard and become this world's new sword master. Ice. Ooh, so cold. Can you see your own breath? Make a chunk of ice, then kick it forward. Skate and slide wherever you go. You'll even glide right over mud and magma. Hello, it is me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. My show has been delayed two days. What does, um, what day does Obi-Wan Kenobi show, um, air now? May 27th? Okay. So it was the 25th, now they're doing the 27th, but they're doing two episodes. I like this one. This one's weird. Do you think Kirby could be classified as a Kerbivore? That's not a minus two. Chat, that's, that's not a minus two. My writers toiled, unpaid, for weeks to come up with that one. Fire them? I say okay, and then I just, like, phase out of existence. I wonder if I can make the funny S. Are you trying to be the Johnny Carson of Twitch? I, I would not know who that is, even, really. Yeah, I, I don't- I do not know that. That's right. Absolutely weird and wild, yes. I mean, you could be worse things than the Johnny Carson of Twitch. Johnny Carson was highly respected. I'm widely clowned on. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, yeah. Find a cave that's safe from the wind. And then murder the sleeping, non-lethal puppies inside of it. Vinny, I don't get that joke. Yeah, they can't all be zingers. Vinny, I don't get that joke. Meanwhile, I was just talking about, like... ...real life stuff. <laughs> it's like... ...ten minutes of real talk and sad faces, and then the chat member, one single chat member... 
Vinny, I don't get that joke. Are you, are you kidding me? I was talking about a degenerative disease. Exactly, I don't get it. But Vinny... Isn't... All of this the funnies? I, I thought I was watching the Vine Sauce cartoon. <laughs> Enjoy three meals at sea. Kirby, you don't want to eat this shit. Kirby's like, no, I think I kind of do want to eat this shit. Have you watched Our Flag Means Death? New Taika Waititi show. No, I've been just stuck watching Saul. Vinny, don't warp. Go back down the ladder. Oh. Apple should start a porn version of their streaming service and just call it Fapple. They would make so much fucking money. Like, for an extra $2 a month, you get premium Fapple access. They would do such good business. Porn is free, but why would I pay for it? Um, why would I pay for it? Um, because on Fapple... I'm trying to think of a, of a joke that you can't repair your penis. I can't- I can't figure out how to word it. I don't know. I don't- I don't- I don't know. I don't have a witty answer. I don't have a witticism for you, chat member. You have caught me at a disadvantage, and I have- I have no answer for you. Sorry. And then they could have, um, a next level of Fapple, like where you spend a couple extra bucks a month. We'll call it Fapple FOMO, which is exclusive timed porn. And if you don't get it by the certain date, it expires and you'll never see it. Bro, why don't you like Apple? You know, I love their product. I would fight for their honor. I am a proud subscriber to Fapple FOMO, bro. You have no idea. Anyway, what streaming service is it on? It's probably on Apple, but there's so many streaming services. It's, it's just not even worth it. You're going to spend $150 a month to get all of them. Every network. You know, streamers are going to start streaming services soon. Vine Sauce TV. Poster Mouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire roller coaster into his mouth. Zip along the rails and tilt left or right to dodge. Everybody strap in because the spaceship Wandaria is blasting into the future. Oh shit, we built a pool. Oh, finally! Kirby fishing! Hey. You wanna watch a new Marvel movie? It's called Marbius. Eggman, check out this cool new Marvel movie. Uh, Marbius! Coffee back. Become a legendary monster with the power of a dragon. Spew fire like a flamethrower, jump, attack, and glide through the sky. You can do all sorts of dragony stuff. Oh my god! Oh, okay, we'll just set everything on fire now. That's nice. <laughs> Jesus. Well, this is a cool one. Chat, I'm also um, running a uh, contest right now for something free. Non-subs only. I'm running a contest. Free tickets to the Morbius movie, but only for non-subs. So just, just to let you all know... <laughs> just to let you know. No, I'm kidding. Don't sub just because you don't want Morbius tickets. It's a good movie, from what I've been told by Jared Leto through... Um, Twitter, uh, I guess. I don't know if you made a tweet about it. I have no idea. Oh, fuck. Wrong button. What do I get? I got a cork? I kind of find Jared Leto to be the worst part of Blade Runner 2049. I do love that movie. It's not that he's terrible in it. He's not. It's just... If Bowie, if a young Bowie, if 
they could just go back in time and have gotten a young Bowie like Denis Villeneuve wanted. That would have been great. Jared Leto is the worst part of Jared Leto, says a chat member. <laughs> Morbius, more like 30 seconds to living in cars. Oh shit. Well, that was fun. We did some fishing. Vinny, you can get even bigger fish. I wish you looked at this poster while you had the smallest fish. Oh, really? Alright, well, that's Kirby. Wait, I'm only 33% through the game? The fuck?